Hello and welcome to your 5 minute connect how to video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the report. Feel free to pause the video at any point throughout if you'd like to take a closer look at the screen, that's fine. So let's have a look at the system. As you can see we've got an application up on the screen and your application details here. Down towards the bottom your action buttons that I'm hovering over. And the one on the left hand side is view report so we'll click in there and take a look. At the top of the report, on the top left hand side, you've got the name of the product that you've chosen to reference your tenant on. And to the right of that, you've got the outcome of the report, so that's the next headline. So the three different types of outcome that you'll get will either be acceptable, acceptable with the suitable guarantor, or not acceptable, which is what you can see here. Any of those outcomes may have a condition attached to it and if that's the case there'll be more details explaining the condition down towards the bottom of the report so we'll have a look at that later. The next section that you come to on the left hand side is the name of the applicant and underneath that you've got the applicant's details so this is the information that they've entered when you sent the link to them to finish to fill out their application form. On the right hand side of that you have got a series of green pencils and you can click into any of these pencils and amend the information that they're attached to and you can do that up until 60 days after the report's been issued. Once the tenancy start date has passed you won't be able to make any amends here. If you have made any amends on the report the system can take sort of two to three minutes to regenerate your report. Underneath that, we've got residency information. So based on the addresses that your tenant's given us for the last three years, when we've done the credit check, we do check to see if there's any adverse credit information or undisclosed addresses linked to those addresses. Underneath, we've got the public information. So this is a high-level overview of the information that's taken from the credit file. So on here, you'll see CCJs, IVAs, bankruptcy, if of course we've found any on their file. If there's information in this section there will be a box further down at the bottom of the report that gives you more of a, a breakdown of the information of the CCJs. Underneath we have got the tenancy application score so this is a unique score to us we generate it and we use this score and everybody who comes from reference comes through referencing will start with the same score. Depending on what's found on the credit file if it's positive, points will be added to that score. If it's negative, points will be deducted. And as you can see, it is shown on a scale of red, amber, green. And this score is quite low, with there being adverse credit history, and it's demonstrated here in the red. Underneath, we've got the current financial referee information. So at the top there, you've got information of the employer. Down the left hand side you've got the questions that were asked of your employer and then down the right hand side the answers that were given to us. Similar format for the residential information, down the left hand side the questions that have been asked, down the right hand side the answers that were given. Coming to the, towards the end of the report now then, so we've got the conclusion, so we know it's not acceptable and any reason behind it being not acceptable or needing a guarantor, the information will be here. If there was a condition on the report at all, all the details of the condition, any explanation, anything that you need to do will all be here. You've then got an add notes section, a green add notes section. This is for internal use, so if you want to use this to leave a note for your landlord, such as there's pets in the property or there's people in the property under the age of 18, you can leave that there. You can leave it blank. If you do use this section, it's not visible to us, we're not able to use it, so that's up to you. Down at the bottom is a more of a breakdown of the CCJ information, so the court name, case number, judgment amount, and the date, and so on. <coughs> if you've chosen the optimum product to reference your tenant on, details of the optimum product would be underneath the report, so you'd continue to scroll down, and all the information on the product would be there for you. We can scroll back up to the top of the report now. So that's everything for the report and I'll just show you how to get back to the application by clicking on the reference number right at the top of the page there and it will bring you back to the application that we were looking at before.
So that's everything for your how-to video on how to access and read the report. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.